Simon? Well, we've been called out. I thought it was a fox cub in a football net in a garden, but it's obviously in a sports centre. Um, and it's stuck in one of the practice nets. So. Where is he down? This side? Uh, yes, oh, I can see it from here. Mm -hmm. That little fox cub is quite well on, which is good. They get stuck in the most amazing places, these animals. Right, hopefully, if the constriction wounds aren't too bad, it'll be a rescue release. So I should put on a pair of gloves so he doesn't get human scent on him. Though at this age, it doesn't matter that much because he's quite well on. But... Oh, you're very bitey for a little fox cub. Come on then. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. That's it. Okay, right. We now have a grasp, which means I shouldn't get bitten with a bit of luck. Right, it's very loose around his back leg. That's pretty much done. So back leg's free. I don't think it's that tight around his neck either. No, it's not. It's quite slack around his neck. It's absolutely fine. It wasn't that tight around his neck. He obviously hasn't been here that long. He's in lovely condition. But football nets are always, I'm afraid, quite dangerous to wild animals. But he can go home. So you're looking good, man. You can go home to your mum and dad, or your mum probably. Hopefully this way's home, from what the people told me. So you can go home. Come on, come on. You're free now. Are you going to go home? Come on then. Come on, off you go. Yeah. If everybody lifted gardens and everywhere, lifted their nets to that height when they weren't in use, it would say we get deer in these and everything. How he's got stuck around that is absurd. I'm trying to get the fox out without damaging the lady's lawnmower, which is going to be quite interesting. You could have done this if you tried. 